Good morning. It's coffee talk. 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 I could hardly dance or else I was going to spill it. That was very challenging. Cheers. So I wanted to jump on here. I haven't been on here in a minute. And usually when I'm not on here, it's because I'm in my own deep growth. I, I feel like there's a lot has happened since I last got on here. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about today is I had the opportunity, the very grateful opportunity to sit with a, a teacher, a master teacher, you could say, and um, sitting, reflecting and uh, having conversation with him uh, sort of turned me on to some places in me that feel a little bit like not, <laughs> not aligned um, politically. I, you know, the anger and the frustration and the fear started to crop up. You know, we were discussing war and, and victims. And, and so I, I, a lot of that stuff started to kind of come up. Um, and in my conversation with him, as he was reminding me, um, you know, about calibrating to your own inner self and, you know, all the things that I, I got to see myself in a really true way, in a way that I can't see myself when I'm in my own psyche, my own journal. So I, I'm jumping on here to really remember and remind you, you know, sitting at the uh, foot of the teacher or sitting in a reflective conversation where you have someone showing you yourself is so powerful, so powerful. So you want to be challenging yourself to have someone who is holding up a mirror to you, not agreeing with you or um, sort of just listening to you, but someone who is really volleying back with you is such a wonderful gift. And, and I'm really encouraging you to go find a teacher, someone who you can really be vulnerable with um, and, and, you know, challenged by, okay. It's really, uh, really a beautiful thing. Well, that, experience sort of changed my entire week and things that happened my week because I kept seeing that lens of mine, that familiar lens of mine. And so I got to keep playing with it, playing with it, playing with it. And then today I got to another level of it where I started to seek out that silence, that own inner teacher. Now what do I think about this, right? So I spent the last whatever week and a half thinking about what he showed me. And then now this, this morning starting as I'm still continuing to ponder this idea of where is the silence. And I taught a gentle yoga class today um, where I really brought in a lot of silence and I'd like to invite you to it. So I'm going to put the link in the comments. I'm going to put it on my video platform, my online studio, and you can go for free and watch it. It's an hour long and we're just sitting in basic postures, just basic breath and uh, turning on that that inner teacher, turning on that that place of tuning. I had explained it like a, a violinist, you know, if you're just like just roughly pulling that bow, it's but if you can turn it tiny bit, tiny bit, that sound changes a tiny bit. Another way the sound changes. Can we turn our mind a little bit to become aware of something more? Can we turn our mind a little bit more to find out something more? And so if you really are wanting to sort of get to know yourself or you're feeling really anxious today and you want to have a grounding, it's a really gentle yoga class that I think you're going to enjoy. And as always, if you want to join us on the Keep Your Light On yoga classes, um, that's available to you for a monthly membership. Or if you wanted to jump in deeper in some of this uh, in this personal work, this personal development work, then consider my inner circle. We are moving into November, which is serving ourselves. How do you serve yourself and how do you serve your serve others without resentment, without resentment? And then in December is the beginning of the year where we're really grounding down good night sleep, bedtime routines, January morning routines, setting up a day to sort of launch into your day. And so lots of wonderful things, okay? So if you want to do the class, uh, I'll put the link below and may it be of deep benefit to you. Hope you're having a wonderful week and boo, happy Halloween. All right, namaste.